Well, for more on this, I'm joined from Washington by Saudi writer and political commentator Salman Al Ansari. Good to have you with us, Salman. So I know that you've welcomed this change as uh, an important step forward for women in Saudi Arabia. Uh, is this in line with um, the Crown Prince's vision of uh, a more modern Saudi, Saudi Arabia? Beautiful. Thank you so much, Chile, and hi to all the viewers of TRT World Around the Globe. I think definitely this decision um, is very uh, in line with uh, Vision 2030 and with the idea of reforming not only the economy of Saudi Arabia, but also the societal aspects of Saudi Arabia. Because seriously, we cannot achieve Vision 2030 without having half of the Saudi society to be uh, outside of the equation. I know for a fact that Saudi uh, the Saudi leadership, which is a young leadership, like pr the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is almost like 32 years old, and 70% uh, of the Saudi population are under the age of 30 years old. So we are speaking of a young leadership that matches uh, the same uh, um, uh, characteristics of the Saudi population that understands what they want. So that's a very good uh, uh, step in the right direction. And I believe, uh, as I said, that uh, Vision 2030 is unachievable without having women empowered. So in Saudi Arabia right now, the biggest stock market in the Middle East, which is called Tadawal of Saudi Arabia, is managed and headed by a, a, a Saudi uh, lady. That in itself is a big thing. 20% of the consultative body, which is almost like equivalent to the parliament in different countries, are actually uh, um, um, like uh, seated with, with, with women, Saudi women. And also we are seeing a so lot of progress. With so the, what does the that the mean in the long term, Salman? Are there going to be more changes ahead? I for example, the male guardianship rules, which are seen as being extremely oppressive for women. Yeah, I think uh, definitely uh, it's all about like uh, building momentum of women's rights because you cannot, I think every country in the world has a long way to go with women's rights and Saudi is definitely uh, uh, not excluded from this and Saudi still has a long way to go and uh, with what you've said, uh, the male guardianship, etc. It happens actually in different uh, cases, but it's way less than before uh, in so many different uh, circumstances. But right now we can see that the Crown Prince and King Salman himself uh, are very keen to basically normalize this thing and to get it uh, completely turned as a completely new page, to have a new page with the Saudi society. But you know that there are definitely some hardliners, that they are, there would be some clerics would be just trying to, to, to make it a little bit difficult or sometimes very difficult for women here and there. But overall, I think the Saudi leadership Indeed. will not uh, look at uh, uh, those critics anymore because you need to get the country to move forward. You cannot live, you cannot achieve your dreams, you cannot achieve your vision without having half of the society. And Saudi Salman. is seriously taking the right decisions at the moment.